It is the holiday season, which also means it's the season of giving. And this week you have a chance to make a donation that will help multiple charities in Detroit. And it's all thanks to a mostly familiar face. Joining us ahead of his radiothon is Mitch Album. And I say mostly familiar because all of a sudden you're like bad Kirk on Star Trek. You've, you're rocking the goatee. <laughs> it's just COVID boredom. Just COVID <laughs> boredom. <laughs> Uh, thank you, as always, for taking the time to talk to us and uh, tell us, bring us up to speed. Give us uh, what's new and what you need. Well, uh, you know, the Radiothon is now in its ninth year, and normally it's quite a big production out at Somerset North. We have, you know, not only ourselves and all the guests and the call center and the volunteers and the donors, but all the crowd. This year, uh, we wanted to make sure we kept it going, but we've got to be safe with COVID, so we're parsing it out. So I will be there on Thursday at Somerset, as will Ken Brown, my partner, but that's pretty much it there. We'll be on a platform and then at different locations all around Detroit, our call center, our volunteers, our charity guests, and all of our guests from Hugh Jackman, Kate Hudson, Katie Couric, Matthew Stafford, Anderson Cooper, Jane Pauley, Steve Eiserman, Desmond Howard, Dr. Phil, a whole list, dozens and dozens of them, will be joining us on a giant screen that if you're out at Somerset, you could see, but you could also watch at home. And so in some ways, it's more of a visual show but it's all dedicated to the same purpose, Jason, is, which is to raise as much money as we can for, say, Detroit, 100% of which goes to needy Detroiters. Yeah, the, uh, the fact that you can zoom in from all over the world to this, does that expand your list of uh, notable names that you can have participate? Well, it, everybody's home, <laughs> so it wasn't that hard. You know, like I, I thought, ah, this will be tough COVID year. A lot of people won't want to do it. We got yeses from everybody and even a lot of new people because they're all, you know, actors and, and, and performers. A lot of them are grounded, so they're sitting at home. So they'll be joining us and they'll also be joining us with their faces instead of necessarily phoning in. So you can listen on WJR, obviously, all day long from 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. You can watch on Click on Detroit on your site or on MitchAlbumRadioThon.com or a number of other spots. And you can make donations and auction items and things like that through any of those websites. Well, you mentioned it, <clears throat> the auction items. What do you have? Oh, man. I mean, we've got from uh, trips to Los Angeles to meet Dr. Phil and be on his show to uh, brunches with Jane Pauley to a guitar signed by uh, all the members of KISS. Uh, we've got all kinds of autographed footballs and basketballs and things like that from sports stars who will be joining us in the program. It's a really good, actually, way to do your Christmas shopping. If you want to get something and know that all the money goes 100% to help needy Detroiters, you can get it. And we usually have everything shipped out to people before Christmas if we can get it done. So that's all up on our website even now at MitchAlbumRadiothon.com. MitchAlbumRadiothon.com. I was just about to ask you where people could get more information. You answered the question early for me. Thank you, it's Mitch. This, it's this. It's this. It's, it's, it's helping <laughs> me think better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so again, this Thursday, uh, invite everybody to, to hang out. Yeah, this, uh, this Thursday, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., listen on the radio, follow us on any of those websites. If you're out at Somerset, it'll all be very socially distanced. We're very, very careful about this. Uh, but we want, you know, charities have taken it on the chin a lot, Jason, during this, this year. You know, charities are like businesses, too. They, they have to send employees in. They, they have offices. They have to be safe. A lot of their services now can't be offered to people. And we're no different, but actually say Detroit has done more this year than we've ever done before. We opened COVID testing centers in Detroit. We created a better together program for police officers and at risk youth and formerly incarcerated people to get together at meals and talk to one another and tamp down some of the, the anger that's been going on. It's been a huge success. So we've been actually operating at a higher level. Of course, that requires funding and, and you know, it's tough for people this year to give, but Michiganders have always come through, and, and, and generally they come through even when things are the toughest. So we're, we're hoping and counting on them this Thursday. Mitch, again, thank you. Good to see you. Great to see you, too. Thanks so much.